one of the best top 10 college football rivalries. Florida versus Florida State or Florida Gators versus the Florida State Seminoles, as you like to put it. Last year, the Seminoles demolished the Gators in a blowout victory. The Seminoles are back at it again, reloading and have experience in the backfield and uh, in the pocket as well. They also have the best, one of the best defenses, defenses in the ACC and they're back for a national championship contending title this year. DeAndre Francois, Francois I believe that's pronounced his uh, last name, correct me if I'm wrong, but he didn't have a good game uh, last year. Not, not, no, I believe what, he was a freshman last year, freshman quarterback. He's back, he's experienced, he knows how to beat Florida. Florida, though, has picked up Malik Zaire from the University of Notre Dame, who nobody really cares about because Notre Dame is overrated. They're always overhyped, and they were terrible last year. They were like 4-8. I think he lost his starting job to um, Deshaun Kaiser, uh, so, I mean, he didn't really see him that much uh, playing time, but he is a decently well uh, he's, he's a good quarterback, just to let you know. Uh, but, this year... I am picking Florida State to beat Florida once again, even though I do not care if it's at Florida, uh, the Florida Gators. I still feel like Florida State will beat Florida again this year because not only why I pick Florida State is because they have experience with the quarterback, also with the receivers, also they have a pretty good backfield behind DeAndre Francois. You got Cam Akers, who's a five-star power running back. You also have uh, Jaquiz Patrick, who's also a well good quarterback, uh, not quarterback, <laughs> running back, but he didn't really do so well last year. He only had, wow, he had negative two yards, but that, that was last year. I mean, he only got, he didn't really get that much playing time because Dalvin Cook just destroyed the Florida Gators defense. It was just crazy unbelievable. Florida State's running game was just out, or Florida, yeah, outstanding against the Gators. The Gators couldn't do anything against Dalvin Cook. They couldn't do anything against Francois. They couldn't do anything against Freddie Stevenson, who I don't even know who that is. Like, they had three touchdowns in the rushing. I mean, it's crazy. They had probably the average, about average amount of yards they had in rushing was about six, if you want to put it like that. Um, so, as you all know, that Florida State won 31-13. to I don't care if I make a lot of Florida Gators fans mad because... They think just because Florida State's good, uh, it doesn't matter. Because I don't care uh, about how Florida, Florida Gators' recruiting class is the top five in the nation. You, you're always like that every single year, and you're still uh, a, a mediocre team. So, I mean, it's just it's so it's pointless just to even argue with a Florida Gator fan. Uh, but Florida State, if they beat Alabama, that is going to be a crazy crazy this is gonna be a crazy year if Florida State beats Alabama this year in the first game uh, this is like all the way at the end of the season which is crazy to already even talk about Florida State and Gators so let's go through the stats of last year uh, Austin Appleby who lost his starting job to Luke Del Rio who will probably lose his starting job against Malik Zaire which is crazy uh, he went 19 for 35 149 yards 4.3 average zero touchdowns and zero interceptions DeAndre Francois Sorry for pronouncing the uh, last name. Uh, he went 15 for 26, 138 yards, 5.3 average, one touchdown, and one interception. Uh, Jordan Scarlett, I believe, who's back for the Florida Gators, he had 14 carries, 53 yards, and zero touchdowns. They had they had zero touchdowns from passing and from rushing, which is pretty sad. <laughs> uh, but uh, so for rushing, we all know Dalvin Cook. He's gone to the NFL. Uh, with the Vikings, uh, he had 26 carries, 153 yards, 5.6, uh, 5.9 yards for average, one touchdown. DeAndre Francois had nine carries, 63 yards, 7.0 yards for average or carry, uh, had one touchdown. And Freddie Stevenson had two carries, three, uh, 30 yards, 15.0 yards per carry, and one touchdown. Uh, for receiving, the only touchdown that they had was Travis Rudolph. I believe he's gone uh, in, in the NFL. 
He had four receptions, 63 yards, of uh, 15.8 yards per uh, catch, one touchdown. Those are only touchdown of the, uh, the game. Anthony Colloway, I know who, he, or, oh, my bad, Antonio Colloway, I know he's back for this year, so that's a key player for Malik Zaire or Luke Del Rio. Uh, he had six receptions, 58 yards, 9.7 yards per catch, which is pretty good. Uh, they had Lamichol La Perrine, sorry if I pronounced the whole name wrong. He had 26, uh, tw sorry, two receptions, 26 yards, 13.0 yards per average, and zero touchdowns. They had, they had touchdowns, um, yeah, so they, they had zero touchdowns in that. All right, so for fumbles, fumbles lost. Florida had three fumbles, but they had two lost and two recovered. Florida State had two fumbles, two lost, and two recovered. Defense-wise, uh, Marcel Harris had 11 total tackles for Florida, nine solo. Uh, for Matthew Thomas for Florida State, he had seven tackles, four uh, solo. For interceptions, uh, Florida had one interception. That was Cha Chauncey Garner who had a who picked off DeAndre Francois. So uh, that's basically it for the stats. Um, I know people are like, why do you always uh, side with Florida State? What do you have against Florida? I don't have anything against Florida Gators. It's just I feel like Florida State is better experienced and they have all their guys back uh, from last year. They only lost like Dalvin Cook. They also have an experienced backfield and they have a, a great running back also who's a uh, freshman, uh, Cam Akers. So I feel like the, the range of this game will probably be uh, between 35 points to 28 points for uh, Florida State. Maybe 24 points for uh, Florida, uh, or maybe 21. Depends on that range. It could be from 40s to 30s or 35s. I'm bad. Uh, that's the range I'm gonna put it from like the, the low 40s to the mid 35s. Uh, that's how I'm gonna put it for the uh, prediction of the scoring. I know this is just a video, so it's not going to happen. So people do not get angry or angry, yeah, angry at me for just talking about a game and predicting what's going to happen, which it doesn't always happen the way I uh, display it as. But it's just it's just a video. People get so mad when I talk about how Florida will lose or how Florida State will win. It's just crazy. It's just hilarious. All right, guys, this is uh, 42 Sports here. Hope you enjoy this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Guys, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day, and peace. Sorry for my stuttering. <laughs>